I really would have been ha- I, and I really would have been happy if my career would have ended with the APA. I really enjoyed being around Ron. Uh, we had a, a great time. We had a good gig there at WWE, and I, I didn't see a, a major single run coming really at the end of that. Uh, I, I figured I might have a chance for one because I, I knew Ron was going to retire within the next year, a couple of years in, in that time frame. And so I, I thought I still might be young enough to have a run, but uh, I didn't know that for sure. Uh, the only, uh, you know, I, the JBL character I, I had had in mind for some time to do a, a character very similar, but they were very reticent to, for me to do that. I was doing a lot with the troops, and they really didn't they didn't need me. Uh, and then all of a sudden, a lot of things happened at once. Uh, I think Big Show was hurt. Uh, Brock Lesnar had left the company. Yeah, yeah, all of a sudden you needed somebody immediately uh, in that role, and that's when they did the change. All of a sudden, just one day, and yeah, it, it wasn't. I don't think it was something that was thought about with a lot of forethought to it. Uh, Vince McMahon always had said he thought I could be a world champion, and, and I think he's probably uh, the only one <laughs> in, the, in the entire company that thought that. <laughs> but. I, you know, I have no idea why he thought that. Um, and when they came up with yeah. the JBL character, uh, I knew this was going to be my uh, last shot at it, so I was I was hoping it would work. Um, you know, it didn't it didn't work at all for the first few weeks, and and if it hadn't been for Eddie Guerrero, it probably wouldn't have worked. Uh, but thank goodness I had the right opponent, I had a good friend of mine, and uh, it, it, it ended up working. Um, yeah, you mentioned uh, Eddie Guerrero helping you out uh, during that time. Uh, w- what, how, how did he help you out? Was it mostly uh, like advice in the ring, or just uh, how he sold for you? Or no, Eddie was, was Eddie was the perfect character for JBL at the time, and plus he was such a popular character that it made a big difference. But Eddie and I were really good friends, and we we sat backstage a lot with me, him, and his brother Chavo, and went over a lot of different storyline ideas, a lot of different things. The uh, whole heart attack angle of Eddie's mom in El Paso around Mother's Day weekend. Yeah, right before our, our first match, that was uh, that was an idea of Chavo. I, I believe it was Chavo and Eddie, and they're, they're, the, they're the ones that pitched it to me. Uh, a lot of my promos, Eddie really helped me with a lot of these promos uh, that I was doing as far as the content of it. And Eddie really took it personal that he wanted my character to get over because it was failing miserably at, at the beginning. Uh, you know, I'd been a, a singles, I'd been a tag team wrestler. Uh, a mid card guy for so long that people weren't buying me as a main event guy. And Eddie really took it personal that uh, he could help make me, and that was one of the main reasons that that the JBL character succeeded. Right, and I, I know you said that WWE didn't really have a lot of options at that time as far as kind of building you up a little more before uh, putting you in the world title feud. But do you think that would have uh, that would have helped initially, or uh, do you think it's probably just better that it played out the way it did? I don't know. You know, it, it, it played out uh, as well as it could have for me. Uh, and I think one of the reasons was because we had a, we had a long pay-per-view window that time. We If we just had three or four weeks, I don't think it would have worked. But we had, at the time, I can't remember what it was, five or six weeks to try this. And it, it finally started working, and we finally started getting heat uh, on the JBL character, mainly because of Eddie. And it, it ended up working. I think a lot of that had to do with the, the long lead-up time to the next pay-per-view.